The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene The 48 Laws of Power is a best-selling book written by Robert Greene that delves into the intricate and often Machiavellian world of power dynamics. Drawing from the wisdom of ancient civilizations, classical texts, and historical figures, Green meticulously crafts 48 distinct rules that individuals used throughout history to acquire and maintain power. The book is structured as a guide, offering historical anecdotes, strategies, and tactics for each of the 48 laws. Green presents lessons from figures such as Louis XIV, Sun Tzu, and Cleopatra, illustrating the timeless nature of power struggles and the strategies employed by history's most influential leaders and schemers. At its core, the book dissects the dark and light aspects of power, manipulation, and strategy. Green presents these laws without a moral judgment, leaving it to the readers to decide how, when, or even if they should apply them. The laws range from the importance of maintaining one's reputation to the benefits of concealing one's intentions. In a world driven by social hierarchies, business rivalries, and personal ambitions, understanding the rules of power can be crucial. While some may argue that the laws can be seen as ruthless or immoral, others view them as tools to navigate a complex world. Regardless of one's personal stance, the 48 Laws of Power offers a unique lens through which we can understand historical events, the actions of powerful figures, and even the dynamics in our personal and professional lives. Moreover, even if one chooses not to employ these tactics, being aware of them can provide insight into the motivations of others and prepare oneself against potential manipulations. Number 1. Never outshine the master. No one likes a show-off. Especially not your boss or teacher. The first law tells you to be smart, but not too smart. If you go around correcting everyone, and being all I'm the genius here, you will end up getting kicked to the curb. Instead, make the people above you feel secure and superior. That way, they will love having you around and you will move up the ladder faster than a squirrel chasing a nut. Number 2. Never put too much trust in friends, learn how to use enemies. Friends are awesome for sleepovers and trading Pokemon cards, but don't expect them to always help you climb the mountain of success. Sometimes, your buddies might get a teeny bit jealous if you shine too bright. They've got something to prove. If you can get an enemy on your side, they will often work harder than anyone else to show they've got you back. So, be sharp. Pick your friends, but also pick your enemies. Number 3. Conceal your intentions. Imagine playing poker and showing everyone your cards. Bad move, right? Life is a bit like that game. If you broadcast all your plans, folks will see you coming a mile away. Keep your cards close, surprise them with your moves, and watch your game go up several notches. Number 4. Always say less than necessary. You know that buddy who spills all the beans after one drink? Don't be that guy. The more you talk, the more chances you have of slipping up or giving away something valuable. Sometimes, the most powerful thing you can say is nothing at all. Keep things mysterious and people will be so curious about you, they will give you more attention and power. Let them guess, let them wonder. Number 5. So much depends on reputation, guard it with your life. Think about it. Once someone is labeled a gossip, it's hard to see them any other way, right? Your reputation is golden. If people trust and respect you, doors open. If they don't, doors slam shut. So, whether you're online or offline, guard that reputation like it's your most prized possession. Number 6. Court attention at all cost. In today's world, if you are out of sight, you're out of mind. But, it's not just about being seen, it's about being memorable. Be that person who leaves an impression. Be dramatic, be exciting, be anything but boring. If people are watching you, you've got the power. Just remember, there's good attention and bad attention. Aim for the good kind. Number 7. Let others do the work for you, but always take the credit. Think about those group projects. 
There's always that one person who rides everyone's coattails but still ends up front and center during the presentation. Now don't be lazy, but learn to lead and position yourself well. It's about working smarter, not harder. Number 8. Make people come to you. Use bait if necessary. Ever tried chasing a cat and see they run away? But if you sit still with a toy or treat, they come right over. People are not that different. If you are always running after others, they will keep dodging. But if you've got something they want, they will come to you. So, figure out what your bait is and use it wisely. Number 9. Win through your actions, not argument. You know those never-ending debates in the group chat? Yeah, nobody ever wins. Instead of going back and forth until you are blue in the face, just do. Actions speak louder than words. When you prove your point through what you do instead of what you say, even the biggest skeptics cannot argue with that. Number 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. Think about that buddy who always has drama. It's draining, isn't it? Negative vibes spread faster than a cold in winter. So, as much as you might want to help or be there, sometimes, for your own sake, you need to step back. Surround yourself with positive, uplifting folks, and watch your own mood lift. Number 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. This one is a bit tricky. It's not about being manipulative. Think of it more as being indispensable. Be so good, so helpful. When others rely on you, it boosts your position and power in any relationship. Number 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Ever noticed how one small act of kindness can make someone drop their guard? It's all about mixing genuine goodwill with strategy. Once in a while, show your honest side or do a favor. It throws people off and makes them trust you more. But remember, use it wisely. Nobody likes a faker. Number 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. Let's face it, we are all a little selfish. So, if you need a hand, don't go begging. Instead, show folks what's in it for them. Hey, if you help me with this, you will benefit in this way. Trust me, they will be way more likely to jump in. Number 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. No, I'm not saying turn into James Bond. But sometimes, a little information goes a long way. The more you know about what's going on around you, the better decisions you can make. So, keep your ears open, listen more than you speak, and gather that intel. Number 15. Crush your enemy totally. This sounds hardcore, but here's the gist. If you let problems or rivalry simmer, they will come back to bite you. It's like leaving one piece of the puzzle missing. So, whether it's competition, a work problem, or any challenge, deal with it fully. Resolve it so it doesn't rear its head later. Number 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Ever heard the saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder? It's not just about romance. Disappear for a bit, whether it's from social media or a regular hangout. People will notice, and you will suddenly become that mysterious, intriguing person everyone's talking about. Number 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Imagine being predictable, like a movie where you can guess the ending in the first 10 minutes. Throw in a plot twist every now and then. Keep people on their toes. It's not about being chaotic. It's about being full of surprises. Number 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. Staying behind walls might feel safe, but it also means you are out of the loop. If you are always isolated, you won't know what's happening out there. Be in the mix. Be where the action is. That's how you stay informed and influential. Number 19. Know who you're dealing with, do not offend the wrong person. We all know that one person who's a silent storm. The key is to know who's who. You don't want to accidentally poke the bear. So, gauge people, understand them. 
Know who you can joke around with and who you should, maybe, walk on eggshells around. Number 20. Do not commit to anyone. Okay, this isn't about being a commitment phobe in relationships. It's about not blindly siding with one group or another. Stay neutral. Play the field. Because when you commit, you also inherit enemies. And who needs extra drama? Number 21. Play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. The smartest people often play dumb. Why? Because when others underestimate you, they get careless. And when they're careless, they reveal their strategies, weaknesses, everything. So, let them think they're the smarter ones. You will then have the upper hand. Number 22. Use the surrender tactic. Transform weakness into power. Sometimes, bowing out or admitting defeat, even if it's just a ruse, can be a strategy. People let their guard around those they think are weak or defeated. And that's when you can make a comeback or flip the script. It's all about timing. Number 23. Concentrate your forces. Ever tried catching two rabbits at the same time? You will catch none. Focus your energy. Instead of being all over the place, channel your efforts into one thing at a time. It's better to fully succeed at one thing than half succeed at ten. Number 24. Play the perfect courtier. Navigate social situations like you're dancing. Be graceful. Adapt to the tune. Whether it's at work or at a party, blend in, charm, and steer clear of drama. Be that person everyone just loves having around. Number 25. Recreate yourself. You're not stuck as one version of yourself, you know? Think of life as a video game. You can level up, change your character's look, and learn new skills. Don't be afraid to evolve, rebrand, or switch things up. Surprise yourself and others. Number 26. Keep your hands clean. You know the saying, don't get your hands dirty? It's a solid advice. If there's a mess, let someone else make it. Keep your image spotless. If something goes wrong, make sure you're nowhere near the splash zone. Number 27. Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. No, you are not starting a real cult here. But people love to believe in something. Whether it's aliens or the best flavor of ice cream. Become that something for people. Be so amazing that people can't help but follow your Instagram or your real-life adventures. If you can become a beacon or a symbol of that belief, you're golden. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Number 28. Enter action with boldness. Ever noticed how confident people just seem to get away with more? There's something about bold moves that dazzle and intimidate. If you're going in, go all in dive into the deep end. People respect and remember the bold. Number 29. Plan all the way to the end. Starting something is fun and all, but do you know where you're heading? It's like going on a road trip without a map. Plan your route. When you know the destination, you'll avoid detours and get there smoother and faster. Number 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. You know those cool folks who make everything look easy? Be that person. Even if you're sweating buckets and stressing out, show the world a swan gliding smoothly on water. They don't need to see the paddling underneath. Number 31. Control the options. Get others to play with the cards you deal. This one's slick. It's about setting up the game so that even when others think they're choosing, they're picking from options you've laid out. It's like asking, would you like the red pill or the blue pill? Either way, you're leading the narrative. Number 32. Play to people's fantasies. Let's be real. Reality can be a drag sometimes. If you can paint a picture of a brighter, dreamier world, people will flock to you. It's not about lying. It's about being the storyteller who can whisk people away from their everyday humdrum. Number 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Everyone has a weak spot. 
a passion, a fear, a pet peeve. If you can find that soft spot, you have a key to influence them. It's not about exploitation, but understanding. Know what makes them tick. Number 34. Be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. Ever heard of fake it till you make it? There's truth in that. Carry yourself with the air of a king or queen. If you believe your royalty, so will others. It's all about the vibes you give off. Number 35. Master the art of timing. Think of life like a dance. If you're offbeat, even the coolest moves look awkward. But if you move with the rhythm, everything flows. Whether it's launching an idea, making a joke, or making a move, timing is everything. Wait for the perfect moment to strike. Number 36. Disdain things you cannot have. Ignoring them is the best revenge. We all want things we can't have, but sulking over them? Not cool. If you can't get it, act like you never wanted it in the first place. It's like playing hard to get, but with life. People will wonder why you're so unbothered. Number 37. Create compelling spectacles, drama, excitement, spectacle. People love a good show. Be the director of that show in whatever you do. Make your actions, events, or products so dazzling that people can't help but stop and stare. Number 38. Think as you like, but behave like others. You know those wild, out-there thoughts you have? They're cool, but maybe not for sharing at the dinner table. Think freely, but when it comes to behavior, sometimes it's better to blend in. Be a chameleon, it keeps you from attracting unnecessary drama. Number 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Ever seen those movies where someone creates a distraction to get away? It's kind of like that. Sometimes, a little chaos can cover your tracks or divert attention. Create a splash over there, so you can do your thing over here. Number 40. Despise the free lunch. Nothing is truly free. If it seems too good to be true, there's probably a catch. So, when someone offers a freebie, be wary. Pay your own way, because self-reliance is a power move. Number 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. Following a legend? Tough gig. Because no matter how good you are, you're in their shadow. Instead of taking their spot, carve your own path. Create your own legacy, so people aren't always comparing you to the last guy. Number 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. If there's a group causing you trouble, find the leader. Without a head, the body struggles. This isn't about being cruel, but strategic. If you handle the main source, the rest often falls apart. Number 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Logic is cool and all, but what about emotions? That's where the real juice is. If you can connect, inspire, or move someone on an emotional level, you've got them. Win their hearts, and their minds will follow. Number 44. Disarm and infuriate the mirror effect. Mimicry can be powerful. When you mirror someone, they can't easily fight back because you're just reflecting their own behavior. Plus, it can be amusing to watch them get flustered at their own tactics. Number 45. Preach the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Change is good. But too much, too fast? That's a recipe for chaos and pushback. Think of it like diving into a pool. You don't jump into the deep end without first testing the waters. Advocate for change, sure, but ease people into it. Use baby steps. Number 46. Never appear too perfect. Have you ever met someone who just seems too perfect? It's kinda off-putting, right? Being relatable is a strength. So, show your flaws, laugh at your mistakes. People will feel closer to you when they see you're human, just like them. Number 47. Do not go past the mark you aimed for. In victory, know when to stop. Picture this. You've won, you're on top, the crowd's cheering. That feels great, but push too far, 
and cheering can turn to booing. Celebrate your wins, but don't get greedy. Overreaching can turn sweet victory into a sour defeat. Number 48. Assume formlessness. Be like water, my friend. Flow, adapt, change shape. When you're rigid, you can break. But when you're fluid, you can move through any situation or obstacle. Be flexible in your strategies and approaches, and you'll always find a way. Alright, here we made it through all 48 laws. Navigating the complex web of power and influence can be tricky, but the 48 Laws of Power offers a roadmap. Through cheeky, lighthearted, and conversational interpretations, we've glimpsed into the strategies that can elevate one's game in social dynamics. Whether it's about timing, flexibility, or just understanding human nature, these laws serve as a toolbox. While the book teaches you how to gain power, it doesn't spend much time on how to use that power responsibly, and some laws from the book can be sneaky to use. Dive deeper into each one for profound insights and remember wielding power comes with responsibility. So, while it's fun to play the game, always play with integrity and authenticity at heart. Stay powerful. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more life-changing tips.